Experts in human behaviour have observed a number of biases that people are prone to. But specifically regarding investing, which is the most damaging bias of all? Sarah Newcomb is a senior behavioural scientist at Morningstar. For her, there's a runaway winner, present bias. Present bias has us thinking about the here and now. We care much more naturally. We care much more about what is definitely happening right here, right now to me than something that might happen in the future to our future selves somewhere else in the world, wherever we happen to be at that moment. Most people, in fact, exhibit present bias to some extent or other. And in many respects, it serves us well. But investing is an example of an area of life in which our focus on the here and now can work against us. And in the world where we live, the present moment is important, but we outlive our physical ability to work in many, many cases. And so in a world where we need to have income when we can't be actively producing that income, we have to prepare to have other sources of income other than labor when we can't labor anymore. But because we don't think about that future, because we're so biased toward the present, by the time people start to think about their old age, it's too late. They can't catch up to what they will need. And so many people are underprepared. As with most behavioural biases, the solution seems simple. To combat present bias, we need to think more about the future and, in a sense, to take more care of our future selves. But these biases are part of us. They're built into our personalities and changing our ways isn't easy. This is what got me into the field of behavioural economics. I am so presently biased. I, I have a lot, I am an impulsive person. I am distracted by shiny objects. And I have found that financial decisions are rooted in being, sound financial decisions are rooted in being able to think clearly about the future and to properly estimate your needs for your future self and weigh them well against your present needs. And it's something that is inherently difficult for human beings, some of us more than others. So if even the experts struggle with these biases, it's no surprise that most of us do. Again, there are no easy answers, but having a plan for your long-term financial future is hugely important. So too is having a financial advisor who can help you stick to the plan when those inevitable distractions come along.